Hi, and welcome to my GIMP tutorial. If you don't know about GIMP, GIMP is a free image manipulation program that you can find on the web, um, and it has a lot of functionality. It's a great program. Today I'm just going to take this image that you see here and fool around with it a little bit just to show you some of the functionality in GIMP. First of all, I want to turn this image into a black and white picture. So what I can do is I can go up to image, go to mode, and hit grayscale. Now right now that's a little flat and I want to edit it. So I'll go over to tools, go color tools, and go to brightness and contrast. Now here I can bring up the brightness a little bit and give it some contrast as well to kind of bring out some of the detail. So let's see here, and drop that a little bit. All right, let's. Yeah, I kind of like how that looks. If I also, if I want to, I can come back to color tools and um, I can, you know, fool around. Not with that, obviously, but I can fool around with other tools as well. You have threshold, levels, curves, posturize. If you're still working with color, you can you know you can work with hue, saturation, colorize, color balance. But for now, I'm going to be working in black and white. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to add a layer to this to kind of it's going to be used as a filter to give this a kind of a bronzy color. So what I need to do for that is I come up to layer and um, whoops, add new layer. And I want it as a transparency, so that's fine. It's the same size, so I click it, say OK. Now I have a new layer. Now this layer is also in grayscale, but I don't want it in grayscale. So I'm going to go up. I have that layer highlighted. I go up to Image. I go to Mode, and I'm going to have it in color. And then I come over here, and you know, I want to give it a kind of a rusty look. So I'll press OK. And I'm going to take my paint bucket, I'm going to click here, and it fills that entire layer up. Now, for now, people who don't know about layers are thinking, wait, you've just covered up your image. You've painted over it. Well, in actuality, I haven't. I've just painted the top layer. And what I can do with that layer selected, I come up to Opacity, and then I can drop it. Yeah, I'm going to drop a little more. I want it to look a little, li uh, that, uh, that looks about right to me um, for what I want it to look like. Now, you can do anything you want if you're using GIMP. And this is just one technique. Let's see here. I also want to add a little bit of noise. So I'm going to go up to Filter, go to Noise, and I'm just going to choose Scatter HSV. Um, now, right now, you'll notice here that looks pretty intense. I'm going to actually want a little bit more intense and I'm going to explain why in a second. Because this noise is going to be put in this layer and the opacity of this layer has been dropped, it's going to take some intensity of noise to even show up in that layer. And I'll show you right now. There you go. You can see a little bit of that noise there. And that gives the picture a little bit more character. Now you can do all sorts of things within GIMP. You can, you know, paint. Um, you could actually remove these cars that you see here. Maybe you want to make this picture look much older than it is. Obviously, with these modern cars, you wouldn't. That wouldn't um, give that impression. So you could go in there and actually erase those cars. And um, I'll actually be doing that in another tutorial, just to give you an idea of how to do that, and actually how easy it is to do that. So thanks for watching.